season for strep throats coming to an end. Doctors say type A infections are once again on the rise. And Amelia Young looked into this new CDC report and Amelia sore throats and fevers really are the most common symptoms. Yeah, and we've all been there with those symptoms for strep throat, but doctors are saying if you've been to the doctor, you're having those symptoms and have, are on antibiotics and are still not feeling better, it may be more serious. It could be actually more severe, that invasive type A strain, which doctors are seeing higher cases in this year with children and adults over 65. Symptoms include increased difficulty breathing, not responding to antibiotics, and a persistent fever. While most cases are treatable at home, this kind could require a visit to the hospital. In some instances, the infection can spread from the throat to other parts of the body and lead to toxic shock syndrome. The majority of cases, though, will not escalate like this and can be fixed with antibiotics. Doctors have had to find alternatives, though, for children's medicine this year as amoxicillin has been in short supply. If you are around someone who is contagious, doctors say that period only lasts for a few days. The incubation period is about three to five days. I think if you know a family member has strep and there's other siblings in the house, um, you know, definitely avoid sneezing, sharing, you know, utensils, sharing cups, straws. Um, changing toothbrushes. Um, so it's definitely passed by secretions and respiratory droplets. Well, peak season is supposed to end uh, usually sometime around now in April. So those cases are expected to decline sometime soon as more kids are getting out of school and folks are getting outside more because of that warmer weather.